In this video, we will learn how to use the MSR Shock Viewer's Shock View to inspect the data of the measured shock events. To display the Shock View, click on the Shock icon of the Command Bar's View group. By default, the Shock View consists of three charts. The uppermost one is called Shock Events, the big chart in the middle is called Selected Shock Event, and the lowermost one is the Overview. The overview panel can be detached from the window. To have a better understanding of how the three charts are related to each other, let's move the overview to the top. To do this, grab its title bar and release it once the mouse cursor is over the upper docking symbol. The overview is like a summary of the entire measurement period and helps us navigate through the data. Actually, the overview hosts two separate charts one with measured curves of the various sensors that were connected to the data logger, and one in form of a dark grey strip that shows the shock events displayed as blue dots. Let's concentrate on the shock events and hide the other measured curves by clicking on the corresponding button to the right. What's left is a rough representation of the whole measurement period with all the shock events as blue dots, vertically distributed by their maximum acceleration. The overview chart as we see it here is divided into three sections. The middle section has a lighter grey background and is delimited by two black lines with labels. This section corresponds to the time span that we see in the shock events chart that's below the overview. If you want to change the time span that is shown in the shock events chart, use the mouse to drag the whole section back or forth or to slide the delimiters. You may also use the buttons on the right side to jump back and forth, select a fixed interval or switch between the whole measurement period and the last selected interval. While the overview helps us to find the data that we want to see, the shock events chart and the selected shock events chart below give us detailed information on the shock events. To see the details of an event, select it by clicking on its blue dot in the shock events chart. As soon as an event is selected, it's marked with a red frame and the chart below shows the measurement curves of the event. On top of the shock events chart, the most important values of the shock event are displayed. It's important to know that these values are not related to the selected shock event, but rather to the one that you lastly inspected with your mouse cursor and of which the blue dot is bigger than the others. If you want to know these values for the selected event, refer to the top of the chart below, the selected shock events chart. Time and values of each dot of the measured curves are shown at the same place. You can zoom in on both the shock events chart and the selected shock events chart by dragging a rectangle with your mouse over the area of interest. If you zoom in by several steps, use the unzoom button to go one step back. To get the completely unzoomed state back, click on the zoom reset button. Please note that if you zoom into the shock events chart, the time span of the chart doesn't match any more with the time span that the overview indicates. This is why the overview chart will display a shaded rectangle which corresponds to the zoom of the chart below. The overview and the shock events chart are at this point not in sync anymore, which is indicated on the top right corner of the chart. If you want the selected time span of the overview to match with the zoom of the shock events chart, click the sync button. The chart will thereby lose its zoomed state. We will not explore the other buttons you see on the right side of the charts. They are pretty much self-explanatory. So feel free to click on them and explore the additional features you will find behind. Now, let's go back to the lowermost chart with the measured curves of the selected shock event. The chart representation, as we see it here, is actually one of two ways to see the data. If you are interested in seeing the data in a table, click on the table icon of the shock group in the command bar. A data table with all measured values of the selected shock event will appear to the right of the chart. 
If you select an entry of the table, the corresponding values will be highlighted in the chart. You may use the mouse wheel on the data table to inspect step by step the values represented in the chart. Thank you for watching this video. Check out our other videos to learn more about the MSR Shock Viewers features.